right. Thank you and good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here. And I, again, I appreciate your uh, response on um, probably pretty short uh, notice. We'll be making a series of announcements and taking one additional uh, action. Today I'm announcing the creation of the Special Independent Advisory Commission to review and evaluate the Department of Licenses and Inspections. On June 5, 2013, this city suffered a terrible tragedy when six lives were lost at the building collapse at 22nd and Market Streets. Anne Bryan, 24 years old. Rosaline Conte, 52. Borbor Davis, 68. Kimberly Finnegan, 35. Juanita Harmon, 75. And Mary Simpson, 24. That day seared my soul in sorrow and I'm sure every other person here in the city of Philadelphia. In the wake of this great loss in our city, I want to make sure that I and we as a city government are doing all that we can to ensure this particular department and all of our departments are as strong as institutions can possibly be. Less than a week, after the building collapse, two days later, I signed an executive order then that significantly tightened departmental regulations with the goal of improving public safety. A number of other agencies and bodies have investigated or are continuing to investigate the tragic events that led to the tragedy on June 5th. In that regard, I want to especially thank Philadelphia City Council for their work in this regard. This commission will not interfere with any of these ongoing investigations. The purpose of this commission is to conduct a full independent assessment and to provide recommendations on the practices and the operations of the Department of Licenses and Inspections with the goal of improving public safety. Safety first must always be our number one goal every day. We want to minimize, if not eliminate, to the best of our ability, the chance that any tragedy of this kind or another kind could occur in the future. And by learning from the past, as tragic as it is, we can help to ensure better protection for the public now and in the future. The Commission's mandate is broad, and it will review, among a number of things, department operations, organizational structure, staffing, budget, technological resources, and the city's fees and fine structure for code violations, and of course, will review legislation that is pending in City Council as well. As mayor, as a lifelong citizen of this city, I recognize that government can always improve on what we are doing any and every day. And with that in mind, the Commission will be asked to do any number of things. Let me detail a few. Develop a detailed set of observations of the Department and its operations. Determine what is working well and what is not working well including a comparison of best practices in other major cities with similar departments and agencies, and to recommend how to improve the department and institutionalize reforms for lasting improvement. In this fashion, the Commission will help advance the existing mission of the department to administer and enforce the city's code requirements for protection of public safety. This analysis will be completed no later than July 1, 2014. I have asked Mr. Glenn Corbett, a professor in the Department of Protection Management 
at the City University of New York to serve as Commission Chair. In addition, I've asked Mr. Peter Vira, an attorney at Vira and Riley PC, to serve as the Commission's Executive Director. Both men have the expertise and leadership skills to guide this Commission through a thoughtful, independent assessment of the practices and operations of the Department of Licenses and Inspections. The Commission members chosen for their skills, expertise, and stakeholder interests are as follows. Emily Bittenbender, Managing Partner, Bittenbender Construction. Ryan Boyer, Business Manager, Laborers District Council of Philadelphia and Vicinity. Robert Bream, Associate Teaching Professor at Drexel University. Lorraine Brown, Chairperson and CEO of the Temple Group. James Dollar, Safety Director, IBEW Local 98. Anne Fudalin, Incoming President of the Building Industry Association of Philadelphia. Scott Knowles, Director, Great Works Symposium and Associate Professor, Professor at Drexel University. Stephen Lincoln, Executive Managing Director of the General Building Contractors Association. Angelo Perryman, President and CEO, Perryman Building and Construction Services. Councilwoman Maria Quinones Sanchez, Councilwoman for the 7th District, Chairperson of the City Council Committee on Licenses and Inspections. Greg Stewart, Vice President, Gilbane Building Company. Francis Vargas, Project Manager, Allied Construction Services. There will be three ex officio non-voting members. They are John Elfrey, Director of Operations, Mayor's Office of Transportation and Utilities. David Perry, Streets Commissioner. Barry Scott, Risk Manager, the Office of Risk Management. I want to thank all of these individuals on behalf of the city and its citizens for stepping up, choosing to serve on this commission. It will take time and effort but these individuals care about the safety and the security and the citizens of our great city. I am fully confident in the Commission's ability to help us in this important work and provide a thorough and comprehensive report that will help ensure that the Department of Licenses and Inspections is operating in a superior manner and will continue to operate at the highest standards well into the future. I want to thank Commissioner Carlton Williams and his entire team at the Department of Licenses and Inspections for being very responsive and open to this effort. I know he will continue his mission in improving the Department's operations. I also know that the Department, with the help this special commission will give it as they move forward with their similar purposes to the best of their abilities. I will now take a moment to sign Executive Order 613. I'll give you a little information on that, and then you'll hear from a couple speakers. Again, I want to note that the report will be delivered uh, to me and, of course, released to the public no later than July 1, 2014. Commission Chair Glenn Corbett, because of scheduling conflicts, could not be with us uh, today, but I want to reaffirm uh, his enthusiasm and dedication to this work. I'm going to now ask uh, Commission Executive Director Peter Ryra uh, to give us some brief remarks. 
Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mayor, thank you very much. I am humbled by this appointment. Uh, as you know, I'm a Philadelphia lawyer and I served as the United States Attorney in this district some years ago under both the Carter and the Reagan administration. Um, before that, I was a career prosecutor in the Department of Justice, mostly in Chicago, and uh, done a, a number of investigations, such as we're talking about here. Uh, in private practice, I have done investigations like this for the Pennsylvania PUC, for PSERVs, and in Illinois, a great many for the Better Government Association. <clears throat> uh, I know that subject matter here is somewhat technical, but I am familiar with the building trades. For the past 10 years, I have been the National Hearing Officer of the Labor's International Union of North America, and I've held hundreds of hearings on workplace safety, destruction, construction procedures, and the oversight of government on those sites. I've done a lot of those. This is not my first time around as being a, an executive director. Some years ago, President Reagan appointed me as the executive director of the President's Commission on Organized Crime. It's a very big organization and had a very big budget, and some very powerful persons was on it. I mentioned that here just for the relevance that in these investigative committees, there is a practice and procedure that has evolved, and the persons who have done it have learned a lot of, a lot of things. And one of the things that is apparent is that public hearings are probably the least effective way to get information. It's with all the bells and whistles that the legislature puts on, they don't get too far. So most of our investigation will be done by private investigators, personnel, persons on this staff, one-to-one, -one, face to face communications with persons. We're after facts. We're after information to find out if something went wrong, what went wrong. So you folks in the press, if you're looking for some drama and some success, today's the high point. This is going to be the high point of, of your of the sexy presentation. A great deal of this information that we will get, we will put in a, a report. And our objection is to object rather is to bring to the mayor on July the first a plan to make this the best L and I department in the United States. Those problems are across the country, other places have. We are going to look at those. And Mr. Mayor, the first of July, we're going to put something in your hands that you will be proud to receive. I am very pleased to have been appointed to this position. Thank you very much. Peter, thank you uh, very, very much. And now I'd like to have uh, the Commissioner of the Department of License and Inspections, uh, Carlton Williams, uh, give uh, his remarks. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Department of License and Inspection welcomes the opportunity to partner with the Special Independent Commission to conduct a full independent assessment of the practices and operations of the Department of License and Inspection. It is our belief that the Commission will help advance the existing mission of the Department and expand upon improvements already made by recommending best practices in the industry. The department is committed to safety. In keeping with our mission to be the nation's leader in code enforcement, we created new demolition regulations which will become part of the building and administrative codes that are stricter than was required under the existing regulations. These regulations require contractors to submit detailed site safety plans and insurance and licensing information with each permit application among other important requirements. In addition to the new demolition standards, the department continues its focus on ensuring the safety of existing buildings and construction projects. Through targeted demolition of imminently dangerous properties, expanded technological capabilities, the hiring of 20 new inspectors, and the creation of a construction site task force, which specifically addresses unlicensed, unpermitted, unsafe construction and demolition sites. The task force inspectors complement the work of our development division by providing additional oversight on top of the code requiring inspections conducted by our building inspectors. All of these policies and procedures have recently undergone a two-year review by the International Accreditation Service, 
which is part of the International Code Council, the entity that writes the building codes which we follow and enforce. This review measured our practices against other municipalities and culminated with the department receiving an accreditation as a leader in the code enforcement industry. Currently, LNI is working with outside agencies to review our practices and develop meaningful reform. We are fully cooperating with numerous audits and investigations from various agencies, including the Controller's Office, the District Attorney's Office, the Inspector General's Office, City Council Special Investigative Committee on Demolition Practices. The distinguished panel announced today will give us another opportunity to review and reform our procedures and we look forward to working with this team of industry experts. We have made progress, but we fully understand that we can and will continue to improve for the benefit of public safety. Thank you. Commissioner, thank you very much. Let me uh, point out one uh, rather obvious thing, but I'll make note of it anyway. Uh, I read you the names of all the folks who have agreed to uh, serve. Uh, obviously, all of them are not here. Again, no uh, other indication uh, with regard to their uh, interests other than uh, schedules and uh, their ability to be here at this uh, particular time. Uh, but they have all, all the names I read, uh, the folks have agreed to serve. So let me um, open the floor to the members of the media, and I'll try to answer any questions that you might have at this point to the extent that I can answer them. Mayor, you're, you're expecting a, this, uh, a package to come to you on July 1st, the new recommendations. How much uh, muscle and, and bite will that have to make sure that what is recommended can be implemented and, and will certainly be implemented? Well, obviously, I can't prejudge what's going to come. Uh, and it's the request is that the report come no later than uh, July 1st. Obviously, it can come before then. Um, depending on what the recommendations are, uh, as we saw in the aftermath of uh, June 5th, uh, we were able to implement some things uh, by executive order. Uh, literally a couple of days later. Others uh, may require uh, legislative approval, and they'll have to go through that process. Uh, but let's wait and see uh, what the Commission actually recommends. I would, you know, take it, or, I mean, probably my, probably my, uh, my only real request would be, whatever the recommendations are, it will probably uh, help in their expediting uh, if, for instance, the Commission made clear that this particular recommendation could be implemented by executive order, this particular recommendation would need legislative action. And then what our responsibility is at that point um, is to uh, sort those out, the ones that uh, require legislative action, let's turn it into the proper language, get them upstairs, the ones that we can do uh, by executive order, uh, get our team working on them as quickly as possible, get an executive order in front of me, and let me sign it as quickly as I can. But obviously I can't tell you what the Commission is going to recommend. And, and put it in like layman terms, who would you just say to the public, listen, this is what this means to the citizens of Philadelphia? What this means to the citizens of Philadelphia is that um, a horrific event happened uh, on uh, June 5th, 2013. We lost six precious people. And that this city government takes that incident and every other matter of public safety very seriously. As I laid out, there are any number of entities that have looked at different aspects. My role and responsibility uh, as the CEO of this government is to make sure that one of our departments or others connected to it are always seeking to improve and that safety is first. And that there are certainly many things uh, I believe that we can do. I can't lay them out in specifics at the moment. Uh, but I certainly believe that we can improve our operations. We will improve our operations. But I also wanted um, an independent set of eyes and individuals and minds uh, to take a look at what are we doing today, what should we be doing tomorrow, make those recommendations, uh, and give us the benefit of your knowledge, your expertise, your background, uh, with no connection uh, whatsoever uh, to, uh, to the city government, uh, and that you're really just uh, trying to do the best job that you can. Um, it's not unusual to do that, especially in the wake of uh, a, um, the kind of tragedy that we experience. So what this is really about is as it's, uh, as it's named. It's an independent entity uh, to look at a department and agency from top to bottom. Um, in the private sector, you know, a company would probably hire, uh, uh, you know, a consulting firm or something like that. Uh, we've gathered local, state, uh, national uh, experts 
uh, to help us in this task completely from the outside, and they will have every support uh, and the full commitment of the city government in terms of cooperation, which is what the executive orders for. Anyone in the executive branch of the government is required to uh, cooperate and assist uh, this commission in their work. Is there, is there Mike? Any I'm sorry. Just one follow-up. Is there any concern, and thank you, uh, is there any concern that what this uh, commission would do may run into some issues or, or roadblocks when it comes into what's going on with the criminal investigations that are still uh, ongoing? I would not expect them to. As I said in my remarks, obviously they will not interfere. Um, and I think um, most of their work is focused on the department and its operations and, and how it functions. And every person in the department uh, will fully cooperate in that regard. I cannot imagine, but you, know, uh, you have to always try to anticipate. Uh, but I have no expectation that there would be any level of interference, and I'm sure at least in terms of the criminal investigation, um, this district attorney, Seth Williams, uh, and his team wouldn't allow them to interfere anyway. If they were, um, I could see this uh, just a, any kind of scenario, uh, if they were getting, you know, touching on something that was of particular sensitivity, uh, I'm sure uh, that someone would let them know that, uh, and at that point you just have to back off. There's no lack of things uh, to do in the um, um, analysis of a department, but you know, I think most of what the DA is looking at is what actually happened at the site. What we're trying to figure out is what's going on in the building uh, at, across the street and its operations and our personnel. So I don't think there's going to be any conflict. Mike? Yeah, are you doing this in response to the very public pleas by Nancy Newton and her husband? And if so, have you spoken to her about your Um, what I would say is that um, this idea uh, has been a thought of mine since back in some time in June. But there are a lot of other things that needed to take place uh, between then and now. And I did not want anything that we're announcing here today to interfere with, for instance, the work that City Council was embarked in. We didn't know exactly what the, uh, what's going to happen on the district attorney side in the criminal investigation. So, you know, let that go forward. The city control, the uh, uh, inspector general. That had been my mindset back at that time. I have had a number of subsequent conversations, private, I won't go into the details, uh, with uh, Nancy and Jay and Chris, the family. Um, and uh, Nancy, as is her right as a citizen and a grieving mother, uh, has uh, been uh, very expressive both privately and publicly, about uh, this and actually has been very helpful uh, in uh, shaping uh, some of the thinking about this as well as uh, with, uh, with uh, even recommendations uh, on the kinds of things that the Commission could do as well as the kind of members uh, who could possibly serve. Uh, and so in that regard, uh, Nancy Winkler, who is a, just a premier uh, public servant, person and a friend uh, has been very, very helpful uh, in this regard and absolutely uh, has uh, had uh, influence, if you will, of a positive nature uh, with uh, much of my mindset about this. But this has been a thought on my mind since the day this happened. Uh, Mayor, what's the budget and staffing lined up for, for this review? And do you uh, uh, expect City Council to uh, wait to pass legislation until this committee makes its recommendations. Okay. You got a couple questions in there, and if I miss one, you'll come back with it. First, from a budget standpoint, uh, I think it would be a mistake uh, for me or us to try to determine today uh, what the budget should be. I'm going to leave that uh, to the chair and the members and the executive director to come back to us with even a preliminary uh, budget. Having said that, uh, it is my expectation that there will be costs uh, and they will, that this will be money well spent. I don't know what the budget's going to be, but this is about public safety. Uh, and so uh, that will not uh, be an issue. Uh, and we will provide uh, the necessary financial resources, the logistical resources, uh, and whatever it takes uh, to not only get to the heart and soul of what we need to examine, uh, but also uh, to have a superior report uh, that puts us in a position to implement those recommendations and have, as Peter said, uh, the best uh, uh,
property safety uh, organization in the United States of America. From a staffing standpoint, uh, I have uh, identified about a half a dozen uh, uh, what I would call uh, premier uh, public servants uh, who know the city government well, know how to get things done, uh, have my fullest uh, confidence, uh, and they will work with uh, the commission and work with Peter, work with uh, the ex officio members uh, whose names I read out earlier, and you probably pretty much know all of those folks. This is about getting stuff done. And, you know, uh, the government at times, uh, you know, can be a large uh, and, and unwieldy uh, organization. We have a ton of rules and regulations, and we'll follow them. Uh, but uh, we also need to make sure uh, that the Commission is getting the resources uh, that it needs. Uh, if it needs to have someone come in uh, uh, as an expert for uh, testimony or information or something, it's our job to make sure they get here. If they need to go somewhere, uh, to um, you know, talk to another agency or another government somewhere. We need to make sure they get there. So I don't know what the budget is going to be today, but they're going to have the resources that they need, and that's my commitment uh, to, uh, to the commission and to the chair. Mayor, will the uh, panel have access to employees at all levels of the and will the and employees be able to speak um, with confidentiality and First one, very uh, easily, the executive order requires cooperation of all departments and agencies, not just the Department of License and Inspections. But I've talked with the commissioner and his top team, and I would uh, not under any circumstance expect that there would be any uh, issue uh, with any uh, members of that department. Give me the second part of that question, Mike. Uh, you asked about the confidentiality and anonymity and those kinds of issues. That's a matter for the commission uh, to determine how they want to conduct uh, their uh, operations. Um, I'm not going to speculate on that. I think that's uh, inappropriate. Um, what I know is that um, from every account and report, uh, there was uh, a uh, non and LNI person uh, in a vehicle at that location doing some kind of work and possibly caused uh, the wall to come down and killed six people. There was not one LNI person involved in that activity. There will be an investigation. There are multiple investigations, uh, but I am not uh, going to uh, try to uh, Monday morning quarterback uh, this thing about woulda, coulda, shoulda. A tragedy happened. We know that. We're trying to improve our operations so that something like this might not happen uh, in the future. Uh, but uh, I can't and I won't uh, try to uh, second guess any individual's uh, efforts or activities on that particular day because there was no LNI person at that location on that day operating equipment or hired anyone to operate equipment. That's not what we do. That was a private job. Last question. Mayor, uh, on city council, do you want them to wait oh, that was the, on this report? To, to it, you know, it's, uh, this is uh, the kind of thing. I mean, the um, uh, council uh, had I believe six hearings during the course of the summer. Uh, we worked with the council and the special committee uh, on uh, those efforts. Uh, it is not for me uh, under this circumstance uh, to tell or suggest to city council that they should uh, wait or stop or anything else. I think that um, certainly many of the uh, provisions in any number of those bills I'm sure are, are good uh, and will be helpful. We'll ask the Commission to take a look at uh, the pending legislation or possibly it could be past legislation uh, by the time uh, they, uh, they see it. What I would hope is no matter what gets passed and when it gets passed, uh, that if there is need for additional legislation or additional change, even to maybe recently passed legislation, uh, if those recommendations, if those procedures, if those operations uh, help to enhance the mission, uh, then, you know, we can legislate more. Uh, but, you know, I think good work was done over the course of the summer, and at least in my opinion, I don't necessarily know that they have to wait. Uh, they may want to. Uh, they may want to have some interaction with the, uh, with the commission, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in a position to suggest uh, that, uh, that they should wait. Uh, I think many of the things they've done are probably very, very good. 
Thanks a lot. Mayor, on a different subject, would you share with us your experience on the, the drive this morning and help? No, not right. No, not right now. I'm here to talk about this. I'm not talking about that. If you want to talk about that, we can talk about it somewhere else. But I'm not talking about anything other than this right now.